All right. Well, good morning. The sun is just starting to peak up. And, uh, yeah, yesterday was interesting. I, uh, had diarrhea. I ran out of toilet paper. I used moss. I used dry leaves. I painted a tree. My shit. Felt really down, all that was happening. Um, I did pull out my hammock and set up my hammock yesterday when it got sunny out, and that was really nice. Um, in between shitting myself. Um, that went away. I'm gonna have to shit again today, obviously, because human shit, but I'm not sick anymore. It was less than 12 hours, maybe 12 hours. Maybe it was just something I ate. I just had some trail magic from Quiet Paul, um, some eggs and hash browns. I don't think it was that. Um, those were good. But it could have been. I don't think it was. He mentioned uh, norovirus being at the shelters last year um, in that area and that they had tempted them and, and gassed them to get rid of it. Maybe it was at a water source. I don't know. Anyways, that happened. Um, after I got over that, at around 3.30, I decided to um, keep going, of course. Either just stop or keep going. And of course, I want to keep going. I love it out here. Um, and I uh, hiked another five, five or six miles. I think five miles. Maybe six or seven miles. And uh, I hiked some miles. Just past this shelter here, uh, big bald shelter, I believe. I'm like three tenths past it at just a tent site um, by myself. It's actually, you know, when my father died nine years ago, I uh, I felt a need to go into the woods and sleep by myself. I did that in the Shenandoah National Park, um, but I wasn't really alone. There was two gentlemen camped maybe a hundred yards from me across the trail. And I asked if I could set up near them. I was still pretty alone, but I wasn't alone alone. Here, I've got some people I know, you know, three-tenths of a mile back that way, but they can't hear me yell. Um, I'm a man. I should be okay with this. And I am. Um, I did hang my food for most of the night, but when I was going to sleep, I couldn't find my backup battery for my phone. Um, and my phone was almost dead, so my routine got really messed up, and I was distraught that I'd lost something so important to me, um, power to my devices is important to me, turns out, and, uh, I remembered around, well, right as I was going to sleep, actually, that it was probably in my food bag, which was hung, um, one of the few times I've hung it, actually the first time I've hung it by myself, because first time I've been by myself, I usually use uh, cables at the shelters, um, so hung my bag, and I got up at three and went and got it, and pulled the uh, charger out of there, I was happy to see it, so charged my phone up, and slept better for the rest of the night, uh, my body feels pretty good, uh, tendons, uh, my Achilles tendon, and my calves were sore yesterday. Today looks a lot easier than other days. Um, it looks pretty flat and downhill. Um, I'm starting to not hate the downhill as much. Um, sun is rising right over here. When I'm finishing my video, I just lean back to look at it. I'll, uh, I'll point it out that way. It's actually a beautiful orange sky this morning. Um, I'm going to cook a little breakfast. I basically have like peanut butter and cooked food left for today. I don't have a ton of food left. Um, I'm starting late. I'm usually on the trail by now, but I just wanted to stay in my bag this morning. I'm pretty much on a level spot. This is the second night in a row I found a level spot. I'm hoping it's not just luck. I'm hoping that I'm just learning how to set up my tent. Um, I've got my tent pitched brilliantly at the moment. Um, I have it up high. And uh, good airflow, but blocked the wind, so 
That's good. I'm starting to really like this thing a lot more. The bathtub's up really high. I'm flat. My 20 degree Z pack's back. Kept me warm all night. Um, that my melons on a hoodie here, which I, I love. Um, too much for a piece of clothing. And, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm really looking forward to getting in town today. I'm not going to zero. I'm going to try to get a Super 8 motel room. I need to do laundry badly. I've got shit stains in at least one of my pair of pants, or underwear rather. And uh, everything smells really bad. Four days. You know, four days without, you know, shower or bath. I got a toothbrush and toothpaste, but I haven't really brushed my teeth. Fucking nasty. Um, boogers and scabs in my nose. My fingers are still all fucked up. I have, like, these little cuts on the edges of them. Like, everything's just cracking. Um, just part of it. Looks like my beard's starting to come in. I haven't seen myself in the mirror that much in the last well, at all. I've just seen glances of myself in pictures. My beard's in full effect. My hair's getting longer. My mane. Um, I'm really liking all my gear for the most part. Uh, it's a little heavier. My, my kit's a little heavier than when I set out. It's around 15 pounds now. I probably mentioned that in some other videos, but who knows what'll get posted and what won't in the end. But I'm about 15 pounds. Um, I don't know, I'll be able to drop a little bit of weight in the summer. But, maybe a pound. I'm trading out some stuff. I ordered a Feathered Friends 40 degree. Uh, ultralight sleeping quilt. It's a Flicker is the, the model. Um, Feathered Friends is the brand. I, bought, I got it in blue. Or azure. If you want to call it by its proper name. Um, I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm, I love the Z-Packs. Last night was really the first night I was able to... Got down to about... It said 40. It was going down to 40. It probably went down to... 35, maybe. Up here on this, this here ridge. Um, I'm just guessing. I'm at like 4,800 feet. Yeah, about 4,800 feet. And, uh... It was nice. I mean, I'm really... This thing's growing on me. Um... It's a narrower bag, but I've kind of started to adjust to that. Learned how to scrunch up in it the right way and stuff. Um, scrunch my legs up. But it's going to be warmer out. And most nights have been too warm for this thing. Um, even though I'd rather be too warm than too cold. Um, I'm hoping the 40 degree will be appropriate by the time I hit Damascus. In my home state of... Or my home state of Virginia. Um, I live in California, but I'm from Virginia. I'm a Virginian and a Californian, mostly Virginian. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting there. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to Virginia. It's familiar territory, familiar ground, familiar trail. Uh, I've got friends in Virginia. I'm looking forward to seeing and uh, family, of course. <sighs> I gave my little niece my Enlightened Equipment 30 degree down quilt. Um, I think she'll be happy with that. She's already stoked, but I think it's going to work out well for her as a Girl Scout. It's plenty big for her. It's not too narrow for her. It's long enough for her. So the issues that I was having related to that are going to disappear for her. So, um, and I'm happy to pass on a good piece of gear to a uh, future through hiker. a future hiker and a current camper she's i mean she's an outdoors woman so i'm proud of her for that um i don't have any kids through my, of my own so i have to live vicariously through her if i want to relive any of my childhood at the moment anyways we got uh her her uh brother ty coming up the ranks that guy i miss him i miss everyone that's the hardest part of being out here i guess is not being with my family and my friends and my dog and my cat and my house. I'm also realizing that 
the people who matter. I'm realizing the people who do matter. And some of them I haven't stayed in touch with for a long time. Some of them I haven't stayed in touch with as much recently. Um, but it's funny who you connect with and who you lose touch with when you do something like this. I haven't really lost touch with anybody. I haven't really been in touch with a lot of people as of late. And that's probably on me. But I'm really happy that this trip brought me back together with my buddy Kurt. Kurt and I spent our mid-childhood together, hanging out, and great, you know, a couple grades separated us. But uh, you know, always a good friend. And I think you know when him and I started this hike together at Springer Mountain, we both realized that that you know hey, we're just good buddies, and we always will be. It's just a matter of you know nurturing that. And then my buddy Jason, who, you know, I met in college and reconnected with around my previous business and now, you know, has been kind of my my go-to non-family support here close. You know, I've got my friend Mike Mike and his wife Corey um, back, at, uh, back at home base in Truckee and they've done an amazing job watching my dog and my house and everything else, but I'm not really relying on them for shipping stuff to me or looking things up. You know, they're three hours behind, and it's a lot harder if I need something in the morning. Jason, the other day, booked my hotel massage and, and extras there at Hot Springs um, and was really helpful, and I'm just so grateful. And uh, I'm looking forward to spending some time with him here in a couple weeks. Um, yeah, I've been trying to update Facebook every day and do an Instagram photo. Um I need to write another blog post here soon. I've been updating on the trek, but, you know, it's been a while. Um, I've got some business opportunities that have come my way, not related to the trail, that I need, need to follow up on. Um, it's kind of hard to focus for too Believe it or not, with all this time on my hands, it's kind of hard to focus on anything too long outside of the trail. Um, I also have a business idea around the trail. It's called uh, Mountain Guide. Uh, MTN, all caps, guide, lowercase, all one word, so MTN guide, um, stands for Moonshine's Trail Network and Guide. Uh, it's basically like a combination of AWOL's paper guide and gut hooks guide on the phone and then um, crack or Facebook um, with some other features as well. It's essentially an all-in-one app for through hikers and um, aside from taking some of the natural element out of it, I think it has the potential to be an amazing app for people such as myself and future folks who set out on this endeavor. Uh, having the app is, the Gut Hook app is really amazing. I don't know if I've said that before, but I know I have 16.4 miles to go today, and uh, that's good. I could probably figure that out in the book as well, but. Um, it's nice to just be able to glance and see that. So, I'm going to cook breakfast. I'm getting hungry. Hopefully I don't have to shit yet. Hopefully I can hold it until town. As bad as that sounds, I'd rather do that than use moss again. My ass is chaffed. The trail's right here, by the way. If anybody walked by, they would have seen it. So... I don't know how many people are at the shelter behind me, but it won't be long until we start having some passers-by. And, yeah, so that's kind of my stream of conscious for this morning, the 2nd of April, 2017. 7.10 a.m. Sunrise is in. It's like 10 minutes. Ish. Before I leave you, or me, or whoever watches this, let's see what the sun looks like. Or sunrise, rather. This is a great camera, but even this camera doesn't really get it. There's nothing like watching the sun come up every day. Something I've not done before a lot 
on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe every now and then, but I've come to look forward to it. I don't want to miss it. On foggy days, it kind of sucks. All right, peace out.